Hello everyone, welcome to another Coexistence Exchange 2013-2019 video. And in this video, we're looking at uh, the next part, which is part 13. And we're going to talk about DAG members and how you cannot mix versions of Exchange in a DAG. So I get a number of questions, people asking me, can I not just detach the database and attach it on a higher version and then I'll still have all the users there. No, unfortunately, you cannot mix and match database databases on Exchange servers. <clears throat> so, for example, is you in this scenario, you've got either got a 2013 DAG or you've got a 2019 DAG or you've got standalone servers. And now you think that I can quickly go to my database availability, sorry, database availability groups. I can quickly create a group and then I can go and add my servers and I can quickly, you know, have everybody across on, on the new system. Um, there was a, a situation in 2013 when it was released where it did give you the ability to do that, but it was a bug. And obviously I did, I think I did do a video or an article on it and it just gave you a string of errors regarding the DAG, obviously because you can't mix and match it. So unfortunately, if you are in this stage, you have to create your 2019 service, create your DAG and your databases and start mailbox moves, which we covered in one of the earlier videos. Only once your mailbox moves and everything is migrated, then you can decommission the 2013 service, but there is no quick way of migrating. So just be aware that even if you think you've got it right to add a variety of servers or versions in, it's not going to work. If you have any questions on this, please reach out to me or reach out to the Microsoft team and they can confirm that you know, that's the case. And I look forward to seeing you in the last two videos. Thank you very much for watching.